So what I want to do now is just real quick check um, maybe the suitability of both uh, canola oil or vegetable oil and um, biodiesel. If you see here, let's see if I can get a video of that. I made a batch of biodiesel. Might be able to see, see that layer at the bottom? That's where the, uh, I think it's glycerol, glycerin, separated out. Anyway, so I made a batch of biodiesel and uh, I want to see how it's going to work in these lanterns. So I've got, I've got two storm lanterns, hurricane lanterns, you know, commonly used for emergency lighting when the power goes out. And I've also got two of my homemade Betty lamps and I'll just see how each goes in those. So these two on the left are the canola oil. And uh, I'm have trouble lighting probably. At least this one. And doing it outside, hoping not to create a fire that I wasn't intending to. I'm having having trouble even lighting this wick. Even though, in order to light this wick, whoop, one out again. In order to light that wick, I had to actually. Soak it prior. Let's see if that's working. There we go. Let it heat up a little bit while I get the others done. The biodiesel, Betty lamp, lights very easily. And the biodiesel storm lantern lights very easily. Very similar to what kerosene or lamp oil would do. So I'm going to adjust these down a little bit. And see how they function. I might just trim off that I'm going to trim off that wick for the biodiesel because it's just getting a little bit high. We go. Oh, now the the wick for the um, canola oil is just barely burning. In fact, I, I do suspect it's going to go out, or it's going to take too much control over the. Whereas the biodiesel in the lantern is doing really well. I'm going to take that down a bit. A little bit of wind outside, which I wish there wasn't, but uh, it should be enough to get the idea of how this is going to work. All right, so I'm going to maintain these lanterns. See if I can maintain them. The actual that canola oil is about ready to go out. So canola oil or vegetable oil, pretty sure in a storm lantern totally unsuitable however it's still doing well in the in the better betty lamps and the uh well this is only five minutes in but the the uh biodiesel is doing well and these are both brand new lamps so no difference there and i've got the wick all the way up on the canola oil and it's it's just you know it's it's burned all the oil that was on the wick and now it's just it's getting ready to die
Something else I noticed when I was, uh, so those Betty lamps, the homemade ones out of tuna cans in the front, that's pretty much the majority of what I used for lighting um, early on off grid because they're so inexpensive, easy to make, and uh, um, yeah, way, way cheaper than candles, and they put out a better light than candles. So I really like them. All right, so I'm going to pause for a bit. I'm hopefully run it for about an hour and see how things are going. Okay, hasn't been an hour. I think it's been barely 15 minutes. So what I've noticed in that short amount of time, the the Betty lamp um, with the canola oil in it, it's doing fine as way it's always done. And the, the the hurricane storm lantern with the canola oil in it, I'm just forever having to turn up that that wick. It's burning through the wick really quickly. Kind of similar with the uh, with the diesel. You know, I'm still with the biodiesel. I'm still adjusting that wick probably more than I would with kerosene or or lantern oil. But I think I could work with that. It's it's probably usable. Um, however, and this is probably the biggest problem and the biggest thing I've learned from this, the the Betty lamp with the diesel in it, in it is a major fire hazard. So I'm gonna put that out. Oh, uh, safety thing. If you ever have a, a grease fire, never ever. And that's what I've got there, basically. I've got a grease fire. Never throw water on it. I'm just going to suffocate it, hopefully, by closing the lid. All right, that worked. So, yeah, uh, what have I learned? Biodiesel for hurricane lanterns, storm lanterns. It's probably usable in an emergency. Not the best. Uh, don't use biodiesel in a in a Betty lamp. Uh, canola oil still works well in the Betty lamp, but pretty much useless for a for a storm lantern. <laughs>